there is going to be some mutation as viruses travel through communities. And so this is not a surprise. And these particular variants are of concern, not because they've mutated, but because of what that mutation means. And what we have found is that these mutations do seem to be more transmissible, meaning that it's easier to pass it from one person to another. And that's really the, the reason that there's concern about these particular mutations. The UK variant is probably the one that we have the most information about, mostly because it was detected earlier than the South African and the Brazilian variant, although we've known about them all for several months now. Basically, they're just mutations of the kind of original virus that had been circulating from China globally. And we picked up these, uh, these mutations or these variants mostly because of the concern about transmissibility. And so these particular variants have a slightly altered spike protein. And that protein is important. It's on the outside of the virus. And that protein is important because that's how it attaches to the cells in our respiratory tract and allow the virus to gain entry into our cells and cause infection. The lab is working to try to really understand how much of this particular variant is in the community, how widespread is it, because that will be important in terms of trying to predict how much this is going to impact our numbers and community spread, et cetera. The good news is that these new variants don't seem to be more severe, so they don't cause more severe disease than the other variants, um, and they are amenable to vaccines, so the vaccine would still be effective against these strains, but they are, it would appear that they're more transmissible. And so because of that, then I think we all do need to be diligent about mask wearing, hand hygiene, and distancing, because those are the things that are gonna prevent transmission. And I think what we really want to avoid is for these strains to gain hold in vulnerable populations, such as long-term care or designated supportive living or hospitals, um, because in those situations, then you have people that are very uh, high risk for severe disease. And you know if it spreads in those situations, then we could see significant hospitalizations and death. At this point in time, all the research indicates that the vaccine will be just as effective for these new variants as it was for the original variants. I think we don't need to ch change anything. What we need to do is still just kind of stay the course because I do think we're lucky in that we have seen numbers declining. And if we want to continue to see those numbers declining, even with these new variants, we really need to stick to the basic principles.